Hello guys, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to my playthrough of Crash Team Racing Nitro Field 100%. In the last episode, we did some of the bonus tracks. Now we're going to finish off the final four tracks here in Rain Rally and finish this mode off. Again, I have to get a high score on every single track, minimum, in order to advance. Which is, of course, being the default high score. That's all I'm doing, of course. I'm not doing any more than one, because that'd be silly. And I guess I should mention that I'm playing all of these uh, videos only using Dingo Dolls, since you can pretty much pick whichever kind of a character or build you want. Because, obviously, uh, uh, Dingle Dolls most like Yoshi, so... That's why I use him, because I like Yoshi a lot, so... The real down makes the most sense to me, so... Koala Carnival could be a little bit confusing. There's several different routes and jumps to take that... I may not be able to do the same pink trick that I was able to use before. And I definitely can't avoid the jumps. In case you're wondering, Ring Valley is much harder than the original mode. We have to drive through rains in addition to going through modes. Okay, good. Why that spot? There might be some rings down there, but not that I know of. This is actually looking like a much easier track compared to the one before it. I went in the jumps, nothing really too much going on on this track. Probably would be a little bit more fun than this. Goodness, this one's literally just jumping the ga video game and that's it. I guess there is that problem right there. Literally the same thing every time. Only big difference is going this way instead of through the light. Which I still think is faster. And all the jumping. Ah, gosh darn it. Okay, well now it's kind of the same speed that I would have had from the thing anyways. Oh gosh. And now it's becoming difficult to control this thing. This one has this one has so many lights that it's hard to tell where you are even supposed to go in one of the Okay, this is, that's, that's a lot better. This is obviously Koala Khan's track, in case you didn't already notice. Koala Khan's kind of a forgotten character. He was not in the original CTR, yet he was in the uh, Crash Bash, which is kind of strange why I was in that, but not in this game. Classic bonk again. 
Sheesh, there's hardly any rains to begin with. Okay, uh... I skipped it. I was wondering when that would happen. We completed exactly eight laps, though, so it's still really good, though. If I had not had that fail from, like, the earlier lap, I could have probably had a 3k, 300k or whatever. <laughs> 300k, I guess. Score, but not... N did not happen, unfortunately. One of the shorter tracks, that's for sure. But now we have to deal with, uh... The hours, which will be Gingerhead, Joyride, and then Mega Mix Mania and Drive Through Danger, two of the longest tracks in the game. But first, we have probably one of the more shortcut intensive, if not most shortcut intensive, bonus course in the entire game. This one has two shortcuts that you have to do in a row, and it's not very fun when you miss them because uh, it takes forever to go back the long way, but. I may not be able to do them anyways because of stuff, but knowing me, they'll want to go for speed, so they'll probably put it in there just to be trolly because that's the way they do it, but I will still set it up for it just in case. Again, you need the pink boost from the start in order to take the first star pack. Oh, never mind. You do have to go the jump route. In fact, there's more rings here than the shortcut route. Well, I guess the shortcut route does have stuff. Okay, I'm glad I at least got that part. This is one of the funnest looking tracks, by the way, too, and when it was initially released, there was a little video you can watch in the game that, uh, was a cutscene that kind of describes it. Dives the new patch in its entirety. Which is fun. And of course, there was one that would play in one of the older patches, if you were to play one of the older patches of this game when it had the natural uh, aspect of the game added in play. They would teach out about how the more nitro you collect, the more upgrades you'll unlock, which is, I guess, the game's originally attended way of unlocking other secrets other than in trophy. It would be how you get skins. You basically do stuff in the game, and as you collect more nitro, you'd unlock characters. Obviously, if you have a couple of little tricks, you can reverse back to... Well, that saves a lot of stress knowing that I don't have to do that shortcut because there's a ring in the side that locks it off anyways. But, it does mean that since it still has uh, stuff, about lap 5, it's probably going to become so slow that um, it may be worth it to take that once I get faster. But for this first lap, when it's really show, I think doing this is quicker. Maybe on uh, beyond lap 5, I'll try uh, skipping the shortcut. Initially, though, I don't want to skip it. <laughs> it skips too much, Jack, to not do it. That's probably the worst uh, part of this track, is avoiding the jelly cycles. Yes, that's jelly or jello, whatever. 
Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm glad there's at least rains there so people could consider doing the shortcut if they want to. So perhaps it's on the later laps. Oh, nearly, nearly missed that part of the shortcut. That would have been bad. Okay, it had to break drift that. Yellow drift there. Probably was not the best time to drift at all. Okay, made it back up. Whoa. Good, good. That was a really good track. It's actually the first time in a little while now that we've reached uh, that much in terms of score. Yeah. You know what? If we have extra time, maybe we'll replay one of the spots where we had the lowest score of all and try and do better at that one. Maybe for fun, but... Uh, that probably will be silly, so this will probably end up being a very quick video as a result. Again, my apologies. I did try and complete this all in one video, but if I would have actually done that, it would have ended uh, around 1.30ish or so, so it would have been our stuff. And I also had something to do today as well, so I had to split the video in two parts. You gotta record when you have time to record. You definitely have to adjust us to what times you get given that's one thing that i've learned <laughs> but now make a mix mania so far this has probably been the hardest of the bonus tracks other than jive through danger because of all the random minds positioned around and how hard the shortcuts are to do and the fact that i didn't even know where one of them was Also, if you don't have the pink, you can't take the shortcut in the air. Thankfully, there is two sets of reins on each end, but I think the shortcut will be faster, so we'll take that on every lap other than two. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is probably one of the better routes to date. That's a jump that I almost never take there because usually, uh, usually, um, that will waste time. By the way, that's the first time in a long time that, uh, when I did the boost check run. Gosh dang it. Two fails already. You know what? Screw that. We have time to spare. I'm gonna restart that. I need to keep the pink for this. I wanna do the shortcut. Screw it. That's too many fails for my liking. Just to one no. Hopefully we can get the shortcut on one of the first two laps this time.
Ah, and then this happens. Screw it, I'm going for it. Yeah, and I missed it. All right, restart. Screw this, I wanna, I wanna do a reset attempt until we can get the shortcut. Like I said, we just have this track and drive through danger to go. Since we have more time, I might consider resetting this a couple times. It's mostly, of course, just to ensure I beat the high score. So far, this has been really dumb so far. Like, I normally, in a regular run, I've never haunts on these sides before. I have done it in other runs, but usually I rarely block there, but... Now I'm just bonking there all the time, and I can't even get the shortcut once, either. Cause screw it, I'm not taking the slow route. That wastes too much time, especially early on. If you want a good green rally time, you have to take it on lap one and two. Pretty much every lap, to be specific. That time was because I went way too far out of the way there. Obviously. Well, that's like the worst part there. Avoiding that bomb on the right. Okay. I had to slow down there for safety, but... I don't care, I'm gonna get pink back from this anyway. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the good runs too, when you do get the run that goes through, you'll just barely avoid the fiends. Okay, I'm gonna take the safety route. Uh. I'm fine, I took uh, the shortcut on lap one, I don't need to be fussed about it. Still though, I normally don't balk in those spots. In some of my other runs, I did a Mega Man Sadio when I was going for the time trial and failing or whatever. I rarely bonked in those spots. And then other runs, it was like I bonked there all the time and it's so annoying. I'm gonna probably have to add a drift there at some point that makes it easier to do this. Because I already have this. I'm gonna test out something. I have, I'm far enough ahead where it won't waste any time. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, it does work. It, the speed is just fast enough. So, note to self, I don't need full pink for this. Yeah. Temptation to turn left early and end up hitting the mine on accident, man. That's probably the scariest part of this one. Like I said, Mega Mixadia, for me in particular, is one of the hardest jacks ever to do. So, of course, it's gonna be even harder in Rain Valley, because both shortcuts are required to score a good time. In case you didn't already notice, by the way, when you get uh, picked up by Aku Aku or get an Aku Aku Master Invincibility, it's no longer Aku Aku, it's an exclusive mask instead. I don't know where that's from, but it's definitely not uh, Aku Uka Uka in this case at all. It's a completely different mask exclusive to this uh, track for some reason. So supposedly it's like a new mask kind, maybe? I don't know. It's kind of a mysterious, to say the least. That drift right there to the side, that's the worst part of this entire thing. Okay, that was obviously early. As you can see, I had the speed, but I jumped early. I need to jump at the right time to make that. Of course, that's with pretty much every shortcut. Of course, I have to run out of speed here. Yeah. 
man. I'm cutting that really close, you know. Yeah, it's because I do a drift there. I think the drift in particular in that spot is what's been messing me up in that part. Is Mega Mix Radio even from? Like I said, it's a bonus track, so it's another new original one, but like, where did the idea of it come from? It's really strange. Yeah, yeah, I may have to later ask Phoenix about that one. This is kind of a mysterious track, because I understand that two of the ones obviously represent st environments from Crash Free, but what does this represent? It's kind of strange. The mask one in particular, that counts as a <laughs> That counts as a fall-off spot? What the heck? In case you're wondering, I hit an invisible kill plane there. That normally never happens in that spot. Usually you jump off and nothing happens. I didn't know that was even a kill plane. That 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 that, that, that they need to fix that. That's kind of a stupid kill plane there. <laughs> It instantly killed the run, too. Had it not been for that, I would have gotten lap 8 easily. Oh, and then we have this one. Ugh, this track is just so hard to do, right? Because there's so many brake drifts everywhere. And that's without uh, the pink boost. With pink boost, this is going to be so terrifying to go through. I'm about ready almost to... Break as many times as I can to try and uh, get this to work. <laughs> Even if it's just for a like, quick second. Having to press it in rabbit succession is not fun! <laughs> Especially when you accidentally uh, break in the entire thing. Ah. Already a fall off? No, thank you. I'm gonna start that again. Okay, I could do that, apparently. I'm gonna call that a restart, to be fair. We're supposed to do that shortcut, obviously, every single time, but... Uh, I didn't get it there, so reset. And bad start, so fail again. Oh my gosh. Already been bad, sheesh. In case you're wondering, this is one of the toughest tracks to do because of this drift that we have to do here. Ah! I knew it! <laughs> I, I knew it as soon as I took the triple shortcut that I did not take the line at all I wanted. It's like the stupid... That's the stupidest line I've ever taken on this. This is probably actually better to do. Ah, again. It's because it forces me to the right. Screw this game. Ugh. Yeah, that's an insta say. Oh my gosh. Can we even get the shortcut once? Last time we were not idiots and we were able to get the shortcut on one of our first tries, but now... We can't even get it within five tries to save our life. 
It's just like I said, I do not have practice at all with this shortcut. In case you're wondering, you barely make that without the boost. That's without the pink boost. If you had a pink boost, it'd be free, but we can't even keep that to save our life. Okay, I need to add something. Screw this. I'm gonna have to do this right here and just drift it and hope for the best. So I'll probably fall a lot, but I need to get a good drift and actually get through this. Okay, we finally kept it for at least this part. Finally kept it, but didn't even take the right line. Now we're just being stupid. We're jumping way too early. We need to jump way later than that, idiots. Goodness. And obviously going around the other ways are gonna be impossible with the boost we acquire later on. Okay, there's that trick. That's the trick I mentioned in the world record that you do. It's kind of a scary jump over there. The world record does that to save time in the time trial. So many restarts, man. Can I just get one good run where I get the freaking shortcut already? Ugh, goodness. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll take it, I guess. Okay, well, finally we took the line we wanted. <laughs> Sheesh, that took long. That took forever just to do lap one, and then we instantly fell again. Screw this, I can't take this. I need to stop falling off like an idiot. Sheesh, ugh. Drive through danger, impossible. In case you're wondering, since this is a longer track, we're obviously gonna have a harder score to beat. That's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna still try to screw it. Yeah, see, we don't make it. We need that paint boost, man, but we can't keep it for our to save our life. I'm so terrible at this game, I need to stop playing badly. Okay, I'm gonna do the jump. Yeah, that's making it way easier. Holy crap. Okay, barely made that. And of all the turns we had to fall off, too, it was the easy turn of all things that screwed us up. What the heck, dude? That's normally not the hardest turn at all. That's supposed to be one of the easier turns to do. It just shows you how much we failed at this. Okay, that was a pink loss, so we have to do this. This strat is probably actually better to do than the normal strat. The worst part of it is just doing the shortcut properly and there you see I just have to keep on moving to the left that's what the problem has been I'm gonna do that screw that unfortunately that rain's not in a good spot so doing that shortcuts definitely faster than taking a long way and screwing around Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't even take that right. Sheesh, I'm such an idiot. I need to stop being an idiot and actually play the game, man. Ugh. 
had to do that, so sacrificed a little bit of reins if it meant taking a shortcut. It's kind of like a balance. Do you go for high score, or do you try and get the reins and go extremely risky? This is a terrible lap 2 and 3, but oh well. This place is hard, what else can I say? In case you're wondering, the strat for this in time trials, I'll get you in time trials, is to break drift everywhere. It's not a fun track to learn. And you do triple uh, jumps over everything. And I did the miss jump, of course, because I had to. Thankfully, there are actually rings here, so it's not bad, but it wastes a ton of time compared to going around a shorter way. Well, we're too late now. We have to just take it now and go on. And miss the shortcut there of all places. It's because I jumped too early and also it's in a dumb spot. We may have to start taking the lawn route. And I'm not going to be ready for that. Like I said, if we wanted to get asked any hour else... We have to break drift all over the place. This is not a fun chat to do in Raid Valley, or anything for that same reason. Okay, well that helped out a little bit. Okay, please tell me that's at least a high. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Well, now we're done with this, finally. <laughs> well, that was a lot harder than I expected. Screw that, I'm not playing that course anymore. Ugh, the score for that probably has like 5 million break drifts. I imagine it has one every single lap, because that's all you do in it. Break, 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 man. It just gets crazy after a while. So I guess one thing we can do is check our high scores to see if there's one that's bad or not. I said that I might uh, consider uh, doing a new one, depending on which shot. Uh, there is, but that one's kind of meh. That's good. That's probably my best one there for 417. Jake and Mines, I'm not gonna improve. Screw that, that's way too hard. Yeah. Actually, I think it may have been Ruse Tubes. You know what, we'll just do that. It's a quick one and then we'll uh, add some bonus pit uh stop buying onto this again so yeah how did i fail ruse tubes by the way it's not even that long i think i had a big fail in it maybe i forgot i don't know all i do know is that you do shake the shortcut in it but it's also very fast track so i'm probably just gonna give it only one shot and i think it's just because this area so well i Doubt you can actually get more than 200 on it, but I'd like to try, that's for sure. Of course, if I wanted to do any better on it, I have to drift literally everywhere. Ugh. I already drifted normal spots. Imagine drifting on this with maximum speed. Oh yeah, I remember. This has the stupid jump to the side that gets almost impossible once we get into the foul lap to do. So you have to stay in there just long enough to get the free reins in there.
At least this is an easy track to drift, so it's not terrible for keeping a seed. But it's gonna probably take my speed quite a bit. Never mind, that's how you do it. Yeah. Of course. Keep in mind, I skipped the free reigns on the later laps because I got so fussed about trying to get these. But now I kind of see the entryway you're supposed to go in. It was more or less I was doing it way too early. I need to wait until all the rings are collected before I do that. Oh man. Oh yeah, it's after that where it becomes an issue really. So maybe lap six is where it's gonna become a problem. Probably gonna have to break shift over there. Okay, that's gonna probably work the best. And then I just have to jump over to it. it would help if I could do that and not lose all my speed though. That's what makes it so hard though. By the way, we did beat our score, so good job, me. Oh, I can't even get that with speed. Screw that. I'll take that, though. It's a 90 score improvement, so that's a big improvement. That probably was the one that it was, actually. That's probably what it was. So, there we go. <laughs> now we're done. Now I think we're good. <laughs> I understand how to do that now. You get all three reigns, then turn around, and it puts you in the perfect spot almost every time. Okay. I believe we did that in one of our first ring rally attempts, and uh, it was not fun. Oh yeah, and CTR challenges. We have to do that on all other tracks, which means doing it in Crash Nitro Kart and in bonus tracks. Those will all be done on medium only, though, because any harder than medium, it'll be crazy. So since I did classic, sticking with medium will probably be the best. No reason to do hard. I think just throwing them off is good enough. As for these, these are going to be more challenging. So, next time we play, we're going to do route races and try and get every single platinum route in the game, now including the bonus tracks. You don't require all of them to get the platinum ending, but... Uh, to get the big ending or whatever, but it's okay. Ooh, that's a cheaper one, because that's actually for engine, one of the starting characters. I think I'm going to buy other characters first. So here we have Krunk, the first boss of Crash Team Racing. I mean, Crash Nitro Car. I keep saying that wrong. Oh, and Nash, another one of the Crash Nitro Kart bosses. And Entrance, because why not? Entrance was also added originally in Crash Nitro Kart there, but anyway. The next time we do this, we're going to be going for, not these, uh, we're going to be Relic Racing Crash, Crash Nitro Kart's uh, tracks. 
This will be done on medium difficulty since it's most balanced that way, so yeah. So apparently doing the Hux or whatever on hard also changes their time, which is kind of interesting. I like it, but I'm going to stick with medium. So anyway, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.